Hey guys, good morning. Judy Seeger here. We are on day four of our seven day challenge. Come on in. Uh, I almost ran a little bit late because I forgot I had to start the bath water. <laughs> yes, we are meeting in the bathroom again. This is like the local hangout when you're doing detoxes, right? So good morning, good morning. Come on in and let's get going on your um, day four. So what have we done so far? Day one, we learned uh, what the dry skin brushing was for, what needs to be done, and then the foods that you have to eat, right? So hopefully you're doing your dry skin brushing each and every day, a minimum of 10 minutes. Day two was what? Day two was the hot and cold hydrotherapy. So make sure you're doing that. Three minutes hot, one minute cold, and you're alternating that at least three times. Three is the magic number. And then the third day, we did what? The salt scrub. Um, hey, good morning, good morning. I know you're coming in. I know lots of people are viewing as we're getting the day started on this weekday. So the day three was the salt scrub where we scrub, scrub, scrub your body with salt and stimulate your lymphatic, your circulatory system and get that skin opened up. And then here we are on day four, right? So the challenge now is starting to come up because the first three days as you notice are pretty easy, right? Dry skin brushing, hydrotherapy, not too bad. Salt scrub are all good. But now the challenge is to fit it in your day because as you're working and you're going about your day, the issue is to make sure that you're fitting everything in. And that is a challenge. A lot of people have told me that they're like, you know, how do you do all this? Well, it's not really bad once, first of all, you understand how to do it correctly, but then the number two part is to just do even a little bit. So if I say 10 minutes of dry skin brushing and you only get in five minutes, that's fine. That's good. Don't beat yourself up. At least you got something in, right? If you're in a hydrotherapy, you only do two um, sessions, then that's fine. That's, that's okay. If you do three minutes and one minute uh, twice, go for it, right? So whatever you could do is fine. The thing is just do it. Get in there and do it. Don't be messing around and not doing anything. So, okay. So we are on day four, as I said, the detox bath. Detox baths are huge. They're a big part of detoxing and rebalancing your system, getting your pH, um, acid and alkaline balance and sweating. I mean, there's just a lot of excellent things about bats, which we're all going to talk about in this session. First off, make sure you have everything that you need. So you need, I have everything here. Make sure you have your baking soda, right? You get them in a powder or a bag or a box, whatever, but just get the biggest bag you can. Baking soda. Don't care about the brand, but I just happened to find this one. It's cool. And then make sure you have my all my stuff here, the Epsom salt, right? Again, get the biggest bag you can. You can get them in just about any place now. It's not a problem. And then sea salt. Where's my um, sea salt container? See, I, I use sea salt all the time, so I just <laughs> find crystal sea salt, right? What I do is I and I keep the I mean, we're in my bathroom and I keep it in a plastic container. And I'm always buying sea salt. Like that's, I should buy stock in it, right? Make <laughs> some money. But the deal is, is that sea salt, you should be keeping it on uh, by your bath for the salt scrub and then for this detox bath. So, uh, and then you need a cup, right? So this is roughly a cup. I mean, you know, maybe it's nine ounces, 10 ounces, who knows? But as long as you're consistent, right? Now, in this particular challenge, we're going to just start it out with one cup of each, okay, just to get you going today. If you would like to put two cups of each, that's fine. The deal is, is that um, the more you put in, the more it's going to balance you, but it's also going to detox you, right? So first things first, if you notice, I'm just going to lean the, there you go. Yeah, so as you can see, I have the, the bathtub ready to go, and I just fill it up with hot, hot water, and then you're just going to pour it in. That's it. I mean, it's pretty basic. That was the baking soda. Yeah. And then I've got the sea salt, put the sea salt in. It's pretty basic, right? And then while I'm talking to you, I'm going to do, because I'm going to take a bath later on. Uh, and then I also I'm going to put the Epsom salts in. I'm going to talk about the benefits of all of them so you understand why we're doing it. Maybe that's always important. So I put in my cup of Epsom salt, right? Should I tilt you again? <laughs> I'll put you in there so you can see. Oh! 
Wait a minute, the camera's going crazy. Here we go. Okay, so we got the Epsom salt. We're going to put that in. Um, that's it. And that's all we do, right? Now, let me just talk to you for a minute um, about that. That's it. Then you just step in the bath water and you're going to soak for a good 20 to 30 minutes. Now, let's go through a few things because it's important for you to understand, okay? Now, let me get over here close to you guys. All right, so first things first, the um, baking soda, the purpose of this is that it gets your body's pH balanced. What that means is that whenever you're detoxing, your body's always going to be off. I mean, nobody has a perfect pH of 7.3. It's just n nobody does. <laughs> we always have something going on, right? And so it's important to get that pH balanced. Now, a lot of people are in taking it internally. I don't ever recommend that because it messes up your stomach. Your stomach actually needs to be a high acid to digest foods, especially your proteins. So you don't want to necessarily take it internally, but to take it externally, remember your skin is the largest organ and so it will absorb nutrients. It will also absorb chemicals. Remember what we talked about uh, in other videos where I taught that anything you put on your skin absorbs in through your skin, goes into your organs and that is not a good thing. But the good part is if you're doing something like uh, baking soda, that it actually can go in and is a good thing because it helps balance your pH. So that's the cool part about um, baking soda. Epsom salt, the reason I put Epsom salt in there is because people need to relax. <laughs> you need magnesium. Magnesium sulfate is the main ingredient, of course, in Epsom salt. And magnesium is a huge a relaxer. It's a mineral that helps to um, actually absorb calcium and vitamin D. If you want details, my friend, Dr. Carolyn Dean at drcarolyndean.com is actually her website, um, is the magnesium queen as we fondly call her. She's a medical doctor, naturopath, and she taught me about five years ago the value of magnesium because I was always telling people to take calcium, calcium, calcium for uh, muscle aches and pains and bone and whatever. But she taught me that magnesium is needed to be there to be able to absorb the minerals better. And especially your heart, my goodness, your heart is the biggest muscle in your body that needs the most magnesium. So um, the calcium is good to take, but absorbing it through your skin and taking the magnesium sulfate is actually a whole lot better. It relaxes you, takes you down a notch and gets your body so that it could just do its thing meaning that as it relaxes, it could focus on the detox part. So what is the big detoxifier? Believe it or not, it's the sea salt. Sea salt um, has been known to pull out different skin issues, different diseases. And just because it's our group, I can tell you this story. I met a healer uh, from California and she had a, um, a backyard that she had created a healing center. And she had these little tents that she set up and people would come in who had all types of cancer, all kinds of diseases. It was crazy, the, the story she told us. And what happened was that um, she would have these big, huge bathtubs and she would have the salt put in. She had pink salt, yellow salt, white salt. There's salt from all over the world that have different properties. And as she put them in there, the, the people would have the salt on them and they would stay in there for a half hour, hour or whatever. And crazy stuff would come out of them. You know, tumors would come out and diseases would, would dissipate and they'd get up and they would just feel like a million bucks because salt pulls, it draws out. But you would have to use a lot. So I'm not saying to take a bath in salt, but I am saying that the healing properties of salt are huge. Taken internally, it's much harder on your kidneys. This is where kidney stones and, and kidney calcification comes in because the type of salt that you're eating, the table salt, is not the right type of salt and it's very difficult for your body to break down. However, if you use sea salt, and some people ask me about, well, what about Himalayan salt? I'm not 100% I'm not, um, convinced that the way they're processing Himalayan is perfect but it's way better than table salt. So you could use Himalayan salt, but in this particular detox bath, let's keep it simple and use just fine crystal sea salt, get the big bag, put it in the bathtub one cup at a time, and that will help draw out toxins from your body, right? So here we have the Epsom salts that helps to relax you. 
the baking soda, which helps to um, balance your pH, and the salt that draws out the toxins. So it works synergistically, meaning it works all together to help your body do all these different things. I don't like to do just one thing. I like to do, if we're in the bath and we're spending a half hour, might as well do a bunch of stuff. Now the other cool advantage of being in the bathtub is that you got 30 minutes of sweat time. So you want to get in there and get that water as hot as you could take it and sweat, sweat, sweat. So it's very important to do what before your bath. What's the therapy we've been talking about in the beginning? Dry skin brushing. You want to dry skin brushing before you get in the bath because that opens up the skin pores and gets your uh, skin opened up to not only sweat but also to absorb the different things that we're putting in the bathtub. So very important that you do a dry skin brush and then go into the bathtub, soak a good 30 minutes. Okay, now here's a few tips that you have to know. As you're in the bathtub, you might very well get weak, feeling dizzy, a little bit lightheaded. That is very, very common. That simply means that the bath water maybe is too hot or the, or the toxins are getting pulled out too quickly. So in that case, all you wanna do is just get out of the bathtub so what you want to do is you want to stand up or if you can't i say keep a washcloth in the bathtub and put cold water on there and then put it on your head it'll immediately um, help to bring circulation in and then when you stand up take a cool shower and that will take care of the dizziness and lightheadedness right so if you cannot stay in there in 30 minutes do 15 fine if it's 10 fine i don't care just get in there and do it. But typically what I have found, people who are detoxing will get a little bit of dizziness and lightheadedness as they're doing this because you think it's like, oh, it's just baking soda, Epsom salt, sea salt, it's not a big deal. It is a big deal. It really works. But one cup, that's why we're starting out with one cup. Tomorrow we're going to do two cups. And if you really want to ramp it up the third day, we could actually do three cups if you want to. I have had Dr. Carolyn Dean tell me and a few of my friends who are practitioners, they've done like five cups of each. It's really insane, right? Hey, come on in. We're just talking about the detox bath. So the thing is, is that we want to um, start out slowly whenever you're starting a new type of detox. And this is a little bit more powerful. It's taking you to the next level. So when do you do it? Okay, so first thing in the morning, here's the challenge. When do you fit this in? Right now, if you just got up or you had time to already do your detox, or not your detox, your dry skin brushing, your hydrotherapy, the hot and cold, and your salt scrub, how long does that take? Maybe a half hour, right? So you could do that first thing in the morning. And then in the evenings when I recommend the bath, now I'm doing this for you in the morning to show you and I'm going to keep it in here and I'm going to, <laughs> I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to get in there. But you want to do it in the evening because that's when your body gets to relax and just it has a downtime, right? And in the, in the nighttime when you're sleeping, you're actually still detoxing, right? So it's very important that you do this in the evening. Can you do it in the middle of the day, in the morning? Yes. Uh, but then I'm going to tell you again, you need to go rest. You need to go lay down for a half hour to an hour. Not necessarily sleeping, but when you're going through, like this is like a type of um, heat therapy with the sweating plus the detoxing, it's very, very important. It's super important. Like this is crucial important <laughs> that right after you do something like this, you go lay down. Because laying down and resting allows your body to say, hey, I just detox. Let me just balance this all out and get rid of some of the toxins. If you get out of the bathtub and you're feeling good and you go, 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 so many people were like, yeah, I feel great. I feel buzzed. I'm like, I'm going to do something. I'm going to go clean the house, clean the closet. I'm like, no, that's the worst thing you could do because your body is actually needing this downtime to detox, which is why I recommend the order that I'm telling you. There's a reason for my madness. <laughs> it's based on thousands and thousands of the clients of, of experience in the clinic that I've worked with. So do the stuff that stimulates and gets you going in the morning, the dry skin brushing hydrotherapy and the salt scrub stimulates and gets you going and helps you and all that. And you could repeat that in the afternoon if you want to, but in the evening you want that downtime for your body to repair or rebuild itself. That's time the proteins in your body are being utilized so that you can um, get rid of the toxins and repair what needs to be repaired right okay so that's what we have to do is a detox bath today so do it 
um, maybe an hour or two before bed. You, if you do it right before bed, that's okay. Um, some people do really well and sleep better. Some people um, have a little trouble because of the detox process. So let's say an hour before bed just to be safe, right? And then that way you've got you know, time to just kind of you know, get ready for bed and relax and whatnot. And you may be sweating and all that kind of stuff, and that's okay. So that's what you want to do. An hour before bed, do this detox bath. We're going to get on tomorrow again, and we're going to start talking about um, day five, six, seven, which is we're going to talk about the liver flush and the colon cleansing. So make sure you read the instructions. Do you have your coffee? Do you have your kit? Do you have your um, uh, stuff for the liver flush? You know, what is it that you need to make sure? So today, again, it's not a lot that you need, but I want you to make sure that for day five, six, seven, you have the necessary ingredients, right? Make sure you go out there and get that. But I have to go and get that. I'm thinking, I have my olive oil and, and lemons, but I don't have the grapefruit. Mm, now I got to go out and, and hunt that down. All right, so let's meet up tomorrow again at 8 o'clock. If something comes up where you guys have questions and um, I'm seeing that there's a lot of um, discussion, I will certainly hop back on a video. But meantime, post your questions. Let me know how you're feeling. would love to see what you're feeling down below. Post it and let's see what's going on. I know a few other people have hopped on. And I know that some people are just new. There's people in other countries that are on this challenge. And I have certainly worked with people all over the world. And I know this can be done. It's just you have to do maybe a little bit more prep time. And I'm more than happy to walk you guys through. Okay, guys, have an awesome day. I will catch you guys later. Take care.